We've decided to go around the HMR campus today and ask associates what it is that they look for in leaders. Tag along, let's see what they have to say. What is it that you look for in a leader? When I think of some of the great leaders that I've worked for, I think of a person that can take a group of people, recognize each person in that group for the individual talents and skills that they possess, challenge them to grow, challenge them to give the best that they have, and then follow up with great recognition and give them the recognition for putting out that extra effort. Well, what I would uh, really look for in a leader, I think, would be one, uh, a great communicator. I think that right now that's always one of the things that we strive for, someone that's bringing clarity to where we're going, why we're going, and what we need to do, and then what can we expect when we get there. So I think uh, a good communicator, someone that really is good at setting clear objectives so that we are very uh, certain as to what targets we're shooting for. A good business person is certainly something that we need right now so that we have a good handle on all the challenges that we have but that we're still delivering what we need to as a company. Uh, to me, someone with leadership qualities is someone who leads like they've been there and had the experience themselves. I think that's really important. I also like a leadership style that isn't incredibly hierarchical, but is more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that's very important to me. I like direct leadership. I want to know exactly what someone thinks and what they expect of me. It's very important as well. I think a leader has to be able to admit when something isn't working and take responsibility for it and change it. It's not afraid to go against the grain, be somewhat of a maverick and to uh, really go with their own beliefs as, a as opposed to following the crowd. A good leader I think will allow you to kind of go out on your own, um, maybe hang yourself a couple of times, and um, but willing to pull back on the rein if you're getting a little bit too far out there. Um, but in, in general as somebody that can um, give you that freedom and flexibility to do what you think is, is most appropriate for a particular project. What is it that you look for in a leader? A full head of hair is always important, <laughs> I find. I would look for somebody who was uh, part of the team, who would help include the team in making the decisions, and also somebody, though, who is able to make a decision. Anyway, when it comes to what I look for in a leader, it's uh, not something that's easy to define, but I do know one when I see one. and. Uh, I will let them take the lead if, if they have those strong traits. I think what I look for in a leader is, is somebody who, number one, you have the desire to want to follow them. You, you believe in their, their thinking, they're, they're forward in their thinking, they're not day-to-day -day doers or managers of tasks, uh, uh, that kind of thing. They're more strategic, they think beyond the normal scope of day-to-day uh, -day project, they think of the implications, they think of the opportunities, and they have the excitement and the charisma to, to get on board and say, that person has a great idea and I want to follow that person because I figure I trust in them uh, that they're going to accomplish whatever it is that they're after and I believe in that same philosophical approach. Uh, someone that brings out the best in those around them. You know things are sometimes maybe difficult or whatever, but they just have a, a game plan they're going to uh, go through with it no matter what the consequences are and uh, th that's probably the, the primary role I look for in a leader. Somebody who has a clear vision of what the, the big picture is and what the future is. Somebody who has a vision. Someone who can communicate their vision. I think a leader is a person that will take you somewhere where you otherwise would not have gone. Someone that lays down the expectations up front. Someone who will listen Somebody that's willing to listen, first of all. Someone that is going to lead by example. Uh, a role model. A person that will lead by example. Being a role model. Leading by example. The qualities I look for in a leader are direction and example. In a leader you look for a person that leads kind of by example. I look for someone that sets an example. You know, what is it that you look for in a leader? Uh, I'd have to say uh, trustworthiness of a leader and the, uh, the ability to uh, take uh, people to the next level. Uh, integrity first and foremost. Um, integrity. Integrity. I look for someone with honesty, integrity. Honesty, integrity, and consistency. Enthusiasm, integrity. I think also their integrity. And I think I would like someone to have integrity in their actions. I remember a, an interview that was done by Barbara Walters, and she was interviewing General Norman Schwarzkopf, and she asked him, what is a leader? 
And he said, oh, Barbara, come on, that's really hard. Uh, what is a leader? He said, no, it's really not hard. He said, it comes down to just two things in my professional experience in the military, just two things, character and commitment.